Before the video starts, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to never miss any of my uploads. Enjoy the video! Super exciting news! Your favorite half-monster, half-human from Origins of Olympus now has merch. We have stickers, t-shirts, and hoodies available. I made these as cheap as I possibly could for all of you that wanted to pick it up. Also, make sure to use code SORIN for free shipping. Now, on to the video. Um, Kay. Yeah? I think it's time I finally told you something. Okay. I, I haven't been completely honest with you. I will admit that it's impressive that you made it out of the pit. But that doesn't qualify you to make demands at me, boy! Please, just let me prove myself to you. I've lived my entire life wanting to live up to your expectations. You have to let me try. You have a special mission that someone with your appearance would benefit greatly. I can do it. What do you mean by my appearance? This mission will require you to travel to the Earth Realm. There is someone I am seeking. Earth Realm? Creatures in Earthrealm have a much different appearance than us down in Tartarus. More... human. Of course. That's why I would be so perfect for this mission. You can count on me, Father. I promise. Fail me, and you will wish could spend the rest of your useless life in the pit. I... I won't fail you. So... Who exactly am I looking for? Soren, what did you just do? Now what are you going to tell her? The truth? I mean... I can't. It's... it's too dangerous. But... I trust her. I really should tell her, but... maybe not... all of the truth. Okay. Quick, I have to make something up. Uh, the Oracle. That's perfect. 
I'm so sorry that it has to be this way, Kay. But I just can't risk putting you in jeopardy with this secret. Okay. Here we go. It's... Okay, Soren, you... You can tell me anything. You know that, right? Yeah, um... So, that statue down there, as I was saying, that's Typhon. He's the father of monsters. But, right. as I actually found out from the Oracle, he's also my father. Oh, and I just called him horrifying or a monster. I'm, no. I'm, I'm really sorry. It's, it's okay. I mean, as you can tell, he is definitely a monster um, <laughs> by the looks of it. Um, right. I wasn't too sure what to do with that information once I found out. I mean, well, clearly. Why, why didn't you tell me sooner? I could, I could have helped you uh, research him, or I don't, I don't know, maybe talk to him. That's the thing, though. You might not know much about him, but if word got out around the camp that I was Typhon's son, I don't think it would go over very well. He's not exactly known to be a very good or understanding person. Oh, I see. Well, I I don't blame you for keeping secrets. I mean, clearly here we are in a whatever this place is and we followed a shadow figure here that my boyfriend just happened to find out about. But yeah. I don't know. We all have our own secrets, so I can't blame you for hiding yours. And you know, I didn't know who my father was for the longest time too and all I ever wanted, really, was to find him and, I don't know, talk to him, find out more about him. So I'm sure you're kind of in the same boat, but I can't imagine not knowing how others would react. That's the thing, though. As I've been thinking about it more ever since I talked to the Oracle, I've been getting all these memories and everything. They've been flooding back to me, and I've been remembering my childhood, and just been thinking about how terrible it was. I mean, oh. I grew up in a cage my entire life. And from what I can remember, I ended up breaking out. And the reason I'm here is because my father sent me on some mission, but I don't know what that mission is. It's the only part that I haven't figured out yet. And I don't know what to do with that because I know that my father isn't a good man so I can't imagine that what I'm here for is for anything good either but I don't have any hate in my heart I don't want to be a bad person I don't want to harm others so I can't imagine that I was sent here to do something I guess evil but... well, you're not a bad person by any means and I don't think you have an evil bone in your body. And just because your parents or your dad has that side of them, that doesn't mean that you have to carry that over. And I'm really sorry to hear how your childhood played out. I can't imagine trying to grow up in a cage. And the fact that you're still here now and you are a good person, that's, that's incredible. I hope you realize that. Thank you, Kay. That it's actually really nice to hear. <laughs> of course. But don't think that just because your dad has this mission for you that you have to carry it out. I mean, maybe find out what it is first, because you never know, maybe he's turning over a new leaf, who am I to judge? But I don't know, just because uh, he says that you have to do a certain something doesn't mean that you have to, right? Absolutely. You know, I really yeah. appreciate being able to talk to you about these kinds of things. When I first got to the camp and you were the first person that I saw, it felt nice seeing another person that had, you know, horns and wings. <laughs> I didn't feel yeah. too out of place. I mean, we seem to be pretty different than a lot of the people at the camp, but it's okay because yeah. I know you're a great person, so. 
Yeah. If I'm honest, from the moment you fell out of that portal or whatever it was, I have to say, I felt a connection to you, so. Me too. I don't know. Maybe Typhon has something to do with the Oracle or something, and maybe there's a, a tie to us somewhere along those lines. I, I don't know. You know there how... Greek mythology is, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would definitely be interesting. Yeah. But, I don't know. I'm glad to be someone here that you can confide in. And you know, you can always talk to me about anything. Thank you, Kay. That really means a lot. And know that you can always talk to me about anything as well. One yeah. thing that I did really quickly want to mention, though, is I know that you and Mario are kind of a thing um right one big thing about typhon is he and zeus don't exactly like each other um he's actually the one who banned typhon to tartarus um really so that's where he is um, well if it's any consolation, I'm pretty sure Zeus played a hand in uh, getting my father sent to the underworld as well. Um, really? He was rescued, but yeah. So, I I'm sorry that your father's still down there, but That's I mean, okay. from what you say about him, maybe it's for the best. I I'm not really one to judge, but I don't know. A lot of the gods and, you know, those type of people, they all have their differences and can't say that a lot of them like each other, but I don't know. It is what it is. Yeah, for but. sure. I just hope that if Mario did find out that I was the son of Typhon, he wouldn't hold it against me. <laughs> you can let me handle him. I promise. He's not going to do anything to you. Okay. Thanks again, Kay, for everything. Of course. Always. Anyways, we should probably figure out why we're here. Um, yeah, for sure. I don't um, know about you, but I kind of want to head back to camp sooner rather than later. Yeah, we have been gone quite a while. Yeah. I don't know, though. I can't figure out why the shadow figure would have brought us here. I don't know. I thought that it might have had something to do with, you know, the Delphine Oracle and Typhon statues, but... That just seems to be a somewhat odd coincidence. Yeah, for sure. More heads down here. Uh, I'm not sure. Mm. It's still so weird. <laughs> I, I don't quite understand this place. Yeah. What all these things are. Whoa. These ones look so here. lifelike. They, they really do. The other ones were never like seen any of these before. Stone statues, but these ones, I don't know what about them is different, but <laughs> they yeah. seem a lot more lifelike than the others. No, you're you're definitely right on that one. You don't think they like <laughs> somehow took creatures and froze them in place, or I don't, I don't know. I'm clearly, not that's sure. not the case because the oracle was very lifelike, and clearly, it's not the same one. That's... that's true. Speaking of, I really need to figure out how to get that eye back from that shadow figure. Yeah. I hope this isn't like a game it's making us play. That would be horrible. Hmm. This is pretty cool, though. It is. You don't normally get to see this sort of stuff. Hmm. All these temples. This is crazy. Almost like it's out of a history book or something, don't you think? Yeah. But why would the shadow figure lead us here? I don't know. Oh, what are to these? Have a... He's just like full uh, exhibits? A uh, hippocampus. Wow. What's this thing? Uh, cockatrice, 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 cockatrice. Yeah, I never knew how to say that word. If I'm at all honest, um, actually, funny story. When uh, I don't know if you've met my horse Diabol, but 
One time I went on a trip with uh, Ryan, the son of Aphrodite, and we got attacked by a bunch of those. This one's much smaller than they are in real life, but... Really? They're not fun to deal with, <laughs> let me tell you. I saw something that looked kind of similar to this back at camp. It was white, and it didn't have a tail. It was a lot <laughs> smaller than this one, actually. And it seemed pretty friendly, but this one... This one yeah. doesn't seem too friendly. <laughs> no. Maybe their replicas are a little bit off. Let's see. Look at this guy. Whoa. <laughs> this thing is huge. Yeah. A uh, hydra? A hydra, yeah. Wow. Um, warning, life-size replica, don't touch the glass. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least... <laughs> I've actually been uh, compared to this lady once or twice in my life. <laughs> I mean, why would you be compared to this lady? Um, I uh, similar personalities, I I guess. Oh. Um, yeah, I, that... that must be it. I, I mean, you know, the 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 way we look, it's not very similar. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. <sighs> this place is so cool. Yeah, it really is. Did did you hear that? Yeah. It sounded like glass shattering. Glass shattering. Here. Uh, come on. Okay. Hello? Um shadow figure? <laughs> is someone um, here? Are you out there? I hope it's not like a security guard or something. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't be screaming. <laughs> Maybe not. What's this room? Whoa. recognize some of these paintings um you do yeah remember my office oh yeah um, the staff of asclepius this <laughs> must be him your whoa dad yeah uh that that's him i wow. didn't think that there was going to be a whole room here dedicated to him, but yeah, this is almost the same painting that I have. And the the staff or a replica of it. I don't think it's the real one by any means, but that's what it looks like. A piece of wood with a snake around it. That's so cool. <laughs> it's really cool. Never got to see it in person. I imagine he has it where wherever he is. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> it said that, I don't know, with this staff, it has super, super great healing powers. It, it can even bring people back from the dead. Wow, really? Yeah. That's insane. Mm-hmm. And over here, that must be Chiron, if I'm not mistaken. He is a centaur, obviously. Um... Apollo, my grandpa, sent 
my dad to Chiron, and Chiron basically taught him everything he knows. And he became super powerful, even more powerful than Chiron, more powerful than Apollo, and <laughs> pretty impressive for a demigod. Yeah, for sure. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. What Wanted to give to me any of them. Yeah. What is what? What is this page? Looks like it's ripped out of a book or something. Oh. The glass is broken. That must be what we heard shatter earlier. Oh, yeah. Wait. You don't think... Is that the book that you carry around? Do you think... Yeah. No, the book of Asclepius. I, I've read it page to page, <laughs> cover to cover. And I never found out the whereabouts of my dad. Do I wonder you if think this could this... be a missing page from it. It might. It would make sense. There's a whole room here seeming to be dedicated to him. This must be it. This is what the shadow figure wanted us to find. This has to be. Well, I guess I have to read it. Imitating the, the owl. From I the was. Tootsie Roll. Oh, Mr. Owl. Well, Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Sir? Sir? I was recording a little thingy for my beginning of my video earlier. Oh, okay. So yeah, just in the big black box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a one, a two, a three. I am recording as well. Oh. So <laughs> oh, what? Record all the way. I am recording as well. I'm so excited <coughs> to start our new vampire series. I'll be Dracula. Uh, I no, I wanted to be Dracula. Oh, okay. You can be um, Dracula then. No, you can be Dracula. I'll be Dracula Wall. <gasps> Dracula Wall? <laughs> I don't know if I have the mental capacity for this right now. <laughs> I have to read it. That probably looked a little less than graceful. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything interesting on that, Kayla? On the paper? Mm hmm. You look very intrigued, so I'm just. Um, I mean. Spoilers, I can't tell you. <gasps> wow. Well, Actually, cute. just there's just a smiley face on it. Cute. So there's another chupacabra in here. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> 